what to do when you need to find some data but you can't use VLOOKUP because the data is not as VLOOKUP needs it to be and index match seems to be too complicated. Do you resort to using search or filters? Make way for arguably the best of the lookup functions, XLOOKUP. Hello and welcome to our tutorial on the powerful XLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. Today we'll explore how XLOOKUP can help you efficiently find and retrieve data from your spreadsheets. If you remember our video on VLOOKUP, in our last section, we have discussed some limitations of VLOOKUP. If not, i leave the link in the description and on the top here so you could watch that video and see what Excel has achieved in creating XLOOKUP. As we mentioned in that video, VLOOKUP has been around for ages and without a doubt has ruled the lookup game for decades now. It was later sort of dethroned by index match, but this was like an improvised solution, combining two formulae to overcome the limitations of VLOOKUP. But since the release of XLOOKUP in 2020, this has been ruling the lookup game. The XLOOKUP function is a game changer when it comes to searching for information in Excel. It allows you to look up a value in a table and return a corresponding value from another column, all in a single formula. Let's start with the basic syntax of XLOOKUP function. It follows this structure. XLOOKUP, lookup value, lookup array, return array, matched mode, search mode. The lookup value is the value you want to search for. The lookup array is the range or array where you want to find the lookup value. The return array is the range or array from which you want to retrieve the corresponding value. Match mode is an optional argument that determines how Excel matches the lookup value. You can choose from exact match, next smaller, next larger, or wildcard search. Search mode is another optional argument that specifies whether the search should be performed from top to bottom or in reverse order. Now let's look at some examples to understand how XLOOKUP works in practice. Say you have to calculate salary for a small company of about 30 to 40 employees. The way this company calculates its salary is that every employee's monthly salary is divided by 30 to get the average daily amount and then that amount is multiplied by number of days worked in a month to get to his or her salary for the month. A little unconventional but that's how it works for many small companies. So we have the attendance in another sheet and the way it's stored we can't use VLOOKUP to bring it to our sheet because VLOOKUP only works left to right and in this case our attendance is on the left of the names of the employees. Here we lose XLOOKUP. If you understand VLOOKUP already, which it should by now if you have watched our video, understanding XLOOKUP will be pretty easy. So let's get to it. First, let's add a column current attendance. Now, we start by writing a formula XLOOKUP. Then our lookup value is the name. Lookup array is in this sheet in this column here. Our return array will be the attendance. So it's this one here. Now we have mentioned all the mandatory arguments for this function. And for the purpose of this example, where we need exact match, we can finish the formula here. And here we are with the attendance of this employee. Now let's copy and paste it to all the cells. But wait, what's that? These names have returned an error. Why is that? Well, that's because these names are not present in our attendance sheet and probably they are new hires and don't have any working days this month. But we can get rid of this. We will add to our current formula and this time we will use the if not found argument and we want to tell Excel what to do if our lookup value is missing. You can keep it blithe by using double quotes or since we are going to ask our HR team why would they send us these names when they are not even working this month, let's choose to write this instead. Since it's a text, we'll keep it in double quotes and again, we can finish our formula. So now that dreaded hash NA error looks much better. You could do the same with VLOOKUP as well, but in that case, you have to use if NA function. But here, you get this quite simply. Some of our employees are up for our annual bonuses and our bonus criteria is simple. Depending on how much your salary is, you get a percentage as bonus. 
So let's check our bonus categories. But wait, this table is horizontal. Looks like we can't catch a break. First those non-working employees and now this. Now we have to look horizontally. Well, I know I could simply copy and paste this table to convert it to a vertical one. But why should we? XLOOKUP has another card up its sleeve. Pretty good one too. It can look up horizontally too. Earlier, if we had to look up horizontally, you had to use HLOOKUP. But now, it's an all-in-one function. Let's try this with an example. Here, if an employee earns up to 10,000 a month, he doesn't get support. I know it's cruel, but don't worry. It's a fake company, so we're good. Between 10,000 to 20,000, you get 5%. 20 to 30,000, 10%. 30 to 40,000, 15%. And the maximum bonus allowed is over 50,000, which is 20%. So to start, first we add another column, annual bonus category, and start with our formula. This time, our lookup value is the salary for this employee because our bonuses are based on salary and not names. So we choose salary as our lookup value. And again, our lookup array will be salary in our bonus sheet. And this time, we will use F4 to make them absolute. Now our return array is this row here, which says bonus percentage. And again, use F4 to make it absolute. Now for our if not found argument, we'll use double quotes to keep it blank. And now the important bit. We don't want an exact match because our salaries are not exactly in multiples of 10,000. But our bonus criteria is, what we need is to get the bonus percentage depending on what the salary range is. For this time, we'll use the minus one exact match. If none are found, return the next smaller item. And again, without using the last argument, we can finish here. And we get our bonus category. It's not in percentage because this cell is not formatted as percentage and we are not going to change it because it will be easier this way when we calculate our final salaries. Now let's calculate our final salary which will be a sum of daily salary multiplied by days worked and monthly salary multiplied by annual bonuses. So we can use some formula for this. By the way, if you don't know how to use the sum formula, we have a video for that too. And here we have what we need to pay to all our employees. And these new employees here, they are not getting paid since they have not worked this month. Now in this company of ours, just like in any other company, employees are sometimes moved to another department. And this sheet here notes the original department and current department. And for the sake of record keeping, they don't delete the original department, but just keep adding new entries to the last of the sheet like these three employees who have been now transferred to another department and if you need to find the current department in your salary sheet you can't use VLOOKUP since it only looks from top to bottom and they give you the first instance which is not what we need in this case so we use XLOOKUP again since we can configure it to find our answer from bottom to top instead let's quickly write our formula for this our lookup value is the name then our lookup array is again the name in the current department sheet and our return array is department in our current department sheet. For our if not found argument, we'll use double quotes and exact match for our match mode. But for our search mode, we will use minus one, perform a reverse search starting at the last item. Now our formula will look from the bottom up and we'll copy and paste this formula to the end. Now it does the job, but it also brings up all the departments for those who have not been transferred and we don't need that. We only need new departments for those who have been well, transferred to new departments. So we will use our XLOOKUP function inside an IF function. Let's copy our XLOOKUP formula and use IF essentially say that if the current department is same as the original department, leave the cell blind. We will use logical text to check if our current and original values are same. If yes, it should leave the cell blind using double quotes but if it's not the same, it should bring up the new department. And now we have the new department for those who have been transferred. Now that we have covered the biggies of XLOOKUP, let's check a really simple trick with this, which is also the last segment of our video. Let's say we only have either first or last name of an employee and we need to find his or her full name. Let's copy two names from our list on salary sheet and paste them here 
on two places. Now we will remove first name from this one and last name from this one. We'll use the wildcard feature for this and we have to write our formula as xlookup. And for our lookup value, we are going to use a wildcard, which if you're familiar with them, is denoted by the star symbol. But we have to put it in quotes and then mention our half name as our lookup value. And since the wildcard is before our lookup value, which means it will only look for the first name. But since we want it to look for the last names as well, we add another wildcard after our lookup value. Then our lookup array and return array will be the same since this is the column where we can find the full name. We can skip if not found. For this example and for match mode, we have to use two wildcard character match. It's important to choose this option or it will return an error and it will not work. And we here we have the full names of our employees. There you have it. The XLOOKUP function in Excel is a powerful tool for searching and retrieving data saving you time and effort in your spreadsheet task. We hope this video has been helpful. Start using XLOOKUP today and unlock its full potential in your Excel worksheets. But before that, could you please like, share and subscribe. Happy spreadsheeting. Music